Fargo, North Dakota, the site for a second round winner go home postseason matchup between North Dakota State and Southern Illinois. Today's winner will punch a ticket to the quarterfinal to face either East Tennessee State or Tennessee State. In position back over and he's ran with it ever since. Hands it off and the crease opens up right off the bat for North Dakota State's potent running game. Tameric Williams waltzing his way downfield. And why not? Former quarterback, they get it. A little rollout here for Miller. Dumps it off and they'll pick up a first down. Phoenix rolls. To offense off schedule. Feels important early. Miller with his eyes downfield opts to go to the flats. And has a connection that may turn into more yardage here. It does. They get all of it back. North Dakota State now moving 67 yards already. Got total. And he has another connection. It's Noah Gindorf, his second catch of the game. Down the sideline, inside the 10. The nine. They lead the way for Miller to head into the end zone. Got a block from Hunter Lipke and opens up the scoring in this second round matchup. So well against South Dakota. Now Quincy Patterson, the running QB, finds a gaping hole. Patterson inside the 40. They love his legs. Waltzing down to about the 20. Go down this running game. So Miller comes back in after a gain of 27. To Merrick Williams keeping it going, muscling ahead. Eventually forced out on the sideline. To Merrick Williams, the back in the game now. They'll fake it to him. Miller rolling, keeps it alive, looking to the end zone. And Lipke couldn't quite haul it in. For Southern Illinois, big here to force a field goal. As Reinholtz will come on for a 20-yarder. 10-0 lead for North Dakota State. Defense. They have got to string together a nice drive, score or not, just to give this defense a chance to rest. Baker looking for the deep shot downfield and has it. Big chunk through the air, able to hit Tice Daniel. Baker keeps it, then lofts to the end zone. Diving catch. What a catch. And it's made by Landon Lenore, who they were hoping to get more involved today. Out there to let his guy run and go get it. And you can't be afraid. You got to dive. You got to go make a play. You're 56 yards on the ground. Quick throw here, dangerously, but caught. And it'll lead to a first down. Braylon Henderson. Three receivers at the bottom of your screen. Miller will hand it off to Merrick. Williams takes advantage of a couple of key blocks and picks up another 11 yards. The leader, he's an NFL prospect, number 54. Keep your eye on him. Big third and nine here. Can the Salukis get off the field? They find the tight end, Gindorf, in open space. It looks like they're going to pick up enough for a first down here. So They line the big boys up again here. But Miller will roll, so a little deception. Looking for one of his tight ends and has him along the sideline. They gave it to Williams, and Williams finds the end zone. Kobe Johnson takes the handoff, a patient run as he picks up six to make it third and one here. Curry have to bubble back to the other way. Miller keeps it. I don't think North Dakota State minds you sounding like a broken record right now. <laughs> and really sets up a very easy play call on second. Quincy Patterson has six rushing touchdowns so far this season, finds a crease, cuts it upfield, not afraid of the contact. Eventually knocked down by P.J. Jules, but not after a good, another good chunk. Meanwhile, Ken Miller running behind a host of blocks. Lowers his shoulder before he's ultimately brought down by Kevin Glacian. Miller sneaking his way, reaching into the end zone. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Four receivers this time for Baker. He'll opt to tuck and run. Spinning, but into trouble. Wow. And a big third down stop for North Dakota State. Pretty consistent in that regard. Go back to Tamaric Williams. Once again, same story, dragging Clayton Bush ahead and picking up a first down. Back of there. On third and three, Miller takes it 
Running and has a block. Now open field down the sideline. Is when you're on this turf. Third and one, they bring the power back in to Merrick Williams. Got a block up front from Nash Jensen. And then powered his way down inside the 20. Since North Dakota State has converted, there's seven of eight today on third down. Johnson trying to stretch it. Able to get past the first man and picks up the first down. Make a bit different. I'm running the ball in A-gap if it's me. They give it to Williams. Got past the initial tacklers as he has all game long and turns it into six more points. Be an outstanding game by two really good programs. Baker hit and thrown down in the backfield. Eli Mostart. They are two for two on fourth down today. Hardstruck was the intended receiver, but broken up promptly that time by Jackson Hankey. You better look out for number one. Didn't need him today, though. And five receivers in this formation looking at the end zone. That may have been intercepted by Bryce Notary. It was Southern Illinois at three picks a week ago and they went over South Dakota. Here's their first of the game today. Well, Southern Illinois. I've been asking for the blitz and that's what it does. It sped him up and it forced him to make a quick decision. Do I go for this or not? He threw it a backer though in the league. I think he might be a will backer. Javon Williams. Able to, he's on track to lead the team in rushing for a second consecutive season. Baker goes over the middle, has Tyce Daniel, who turns ahead and picks up a first down. The quarterback's going down. Empty backfield for the QB, Baker. Looks to the sideline, has a first down in the form of a Jaron Rollins catch. And again, we talked about his ability to throw the ball, although he didn't do a good job of it today. Look at a different running back this time in Donovan Spencer. To me, didn't you? Yeah, you just uh -huh. said that could mess with me because you see the size of my stomach. <laughs> Another big hit in the backfield. Jake Demma comes up. A few times they decide to blitz and it comes home as you see. You don't want to play quarterback against these guys. Offense in the phone booth and you're playing right into these guys' hands. So it, it's it's really. And they called Jalen Bussey the big <laughs> play <laughs> back. There's the electric burst when he hits the second level. Set up some nice blocks for Patterson here. Quincy Patterson has the end zone. but we thought they'd be tested today and they stood up to that test as in this entire program stood up to this test and played well they deserve to move on that's exactly what they'll do to face East Tennessee State in the FCS quarterfinal next week Matt Entz continues his postseason role as head coach of the Bison